seems like everybody is doing this tag, so I thought, why not join in on all the fun? <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag. So I don't believe I was actually tagged to do this video. I also don't know the original creator, but I will figure that out and leave it down in the description as well as all of the questions to this tag. So I'm just going to jump right on in because we have a lot of questions to answer today. Question number one is what is the best book you've read so far in 2019? Okay, so I have two for this one. They're like competing against each other. For a while there, it was Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armentra, writing as Jay Lynn. This is a new adult romance book. I freaking love this book a lot. Basically, it's about our main character named Avery. And she was going through a lot of struggles in her hometown. She was ridiculed a lot because of something that happened to her, a tragic thing that happened to her. So she decides to move across the country to go to college and she meets the soccer superstar Cam and he helps her grow as a person and help cope with the horrible things that have been done to her in her past and they grow to love each other and it's beautiful. I freaking love it. But a book that I read earlier this month that is having me thinking that it's my new favorite book of the year is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. It was so good. I cried often <laughs> reading this. So this book is about our two main characters, Quinn and Graham. Chapters go back and forth between then and now. Then was back when they first met. They met by each other's romantic partners cheating with the other person. So Quinn and Graham's girlfriend and boyfriend were with each other and cheated with each other on them if that makes sense. So that's how they met. And then it takes place n in present day, seven years later when they are married and they are going through a lot of marriage struggles. This book is hard hitting, but overall worth the read for sure. I will be going in depth in my thoughts in my June wrap up. If that's not already up, it'll be up soon. Question number two is the best sequel you've read in 2019. And I would have to pick Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. I am loving this series. I still need to read the third and final book in this trilogy. Both books so far have gotten a five out of five stars for me. Basically about our two main characters who one's an angel and one is very much prevalent in Chimera society and they're basically like Romeo and Juliet and they can't be together but they love each other kind of thing and I love this book series and these characters so much. Question number three is a new release you haven't read yet but you want to. I have to go with Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I was supposed to read this for I believe the Smutathon but I did not get around to reading it unfortunately. But I'm going to be buddy reading this book with Emma from Muggle Glamour in July so I'm going to be reading it very 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 soon and I cannot wait. Basically this is a romance book between the son of the woman president of the United States and the Prince of Wales, but they hate each other. It's like a hate to love romance and I'm super duper excited. Question number four is your most anticipated release for the second half of 2019. I'm going to have to go with Wayward Sun by Rainbow Rowell. This is the, I believe, conclusion to the Carry On duology. I love Carry On so much. One of my favorite books of all time. So you best believe I've already pre-ordered Wayward Sun and then anxiously waiting till release day. Question number five is the biggest disappointment of the year. Okay, so I have had some not so great rated books this year, but I kind of didn't expect to like them. Um, so they're not technically disappointing to me because I knew I wasn't going to love them. But there was one book I was really looking forward to that I thought that I would really enjoy and I did not is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Please don't hate me in the comments. <laughs> this book is just, I don't think my cup of tea. I was very bored throughout this whole book. There's like kind of a unrequited romance in there and usually with unrequited romances I love the sexual tension between these two people. They like them but they're not telling the other person and so they kind of have this sexual tension. That's how most unrequited love books are and that did not happen for me. It just it didn't live up to that bar I set for what I wanted out of the romance part and the romance part was my only 
my favorite part about this whole book was the romance aspect which was only like maybe five percent of this whole book and the other part of the book was boring to me so the also saving grace for this was the narrator because I listened to it on audiobook if I physically read this I probably would have DNF'd it before 50% of the way through I don't know why I just I was very bored I'm sorry question number six is your biggest surprise I would have to give this one to you my Oxford year by oh my gosh her name is escaping me at the moment but the picture of the book is on the screen I need to get a physical copy soon because I want to have I want to collect all my five star reads this was a five star read I had earlier in the year I listened to this book on audio and I love this. It's about a girl studying in Oxford and her maybe falling for her professor, even though they hate each other. I thought it was just gonna be a cute fluffy romance, but it delves deep into some serious topics and I was not expecting it, but I loved it. <laughs> Question number seven is your favorite new author. For this one, I'm going to have to go with Emma Chase. She wrote the Royally series. I have book one, Royally Screwed, book two, Royally Matched, and book three, Royally Endowed. I just also finished Royally Yours and loved that book so much. It's going to be a new auto by author, I think, for me because I really loved her writing style. I loved her steamy scenes and I loved her characters. So I am loving what she's writing, so I'm going to definitely buy more from her. Question number eight is newest fictional crush. I'm going to have to go with Colonel Brandon from Sense and Sensibility. I was having a really hard time picking somebody to be my new fictional crush because none of the male main characters really sparked any interest or was very memorable memorable to me. Like I of course loved them in the moment, but none of them like stuck with me. But then I remembered this gem of a book and how much I want my own Colonel Brandon. <laughs> and I really hope my future husband is like the spitting image of Colonel Brandon. <laughs> Question number nine is your favorite new character. I'm going to have to go with Alexandra or Alex from The Governess Game by Tessa Dare. She is a nanny in this historical romance book or a governess, basically a nanny. I'm a nanny, so I related to her on such a deep level and I loved her personality, thought she was so funny and super duper smart and I just love her as a female lead. Question number 10 is a book that made you cry. All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover is the only book that has made me cry this year, I think. So yeah. Question number 11 is a book that made you happy. I'm going to have to go with my most recent read and that would be The English Roses Too Good to Be True by Madonna. Sorry, this ring light glare is getting real bad on this book. Um, this is from the library. That's why my hand is covering this weird spot up here. Um, it's covering the barcode. If y'all didn't know, I grew up reading the original book, The English Roses, often as a kid. It's one of my favorite childhood books. I even have a video. I will link it down below of me physically reading The English Roses to y'all if y'all want to know about this book. Um, who knows? I may even read this one for y'all before I return it to the library. This is just so cute. I just sat in one sitting, read this book with a huge smile on my face. Basically, we have the English Roses, these they're basically a little clique of girls, best friends. A new boy from, I believe, Brazil is a transfer student and they all get a crush on him, but he only likes one of the girls and it deals with friends being jealous of other friends and how you're supposed to deal with it and how you're supposed to deal with crushes in fifth grade. I loved it so much. Question number 12 is your favorite book to movie adaptation. Okay, so I haven't seen or read any book to movie adaptations that came out recently or the first part of the year. I did watch Five Feet Apart. I haven't read that book yet, but I really loved the movie. It wrecked me, but I really enjoyed myself. But for this question, I'm going to go with a movie that comes out later in the year. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I read this book this year and a new version is coming out Christmas Day of 2019 starring um, Emma Watson, Meryl Streep, Saoirse Ronan, and I am so excited. I cannot wait. I love these characters so much and I cannot wait to watch this movie. 
Question number 13 is your favorite review you've done. I don't think I've filmed any book reviews this year, which is bad. Wow. I normally film a couple reviews a year. I guess I've just been so busy. I plan to film a lot more because I feel like book reviews should be more prevalent in booktube because that's how it all started, you know? I haven't filmed any reviews, but my favorite video that I've done is my romance recommendations video. Plan on doing another one soon. If y'all are really excited and really want another one very soon and can convince me in the comments to film it very soon, I will do it very soon. But right now it's like in the back of my mind at like the end of the list of videos to do. But if y'all convince me, I could bring it to the top if you want it. I just love this video because I feel like I am my personal best self. My personality comes out the most in this video and I love talking about romance books so for sure this is my favorite video that I've made this whole year. Question number 14 is the most beautiful book you have bought this year. Ooh, that was a tough one. I didn't really buy any like profoundly beautiful books this year. I've just been loving like illustrated covers, like three, for example, that I bought this year that I really enjoy to look at that I think are really pretty. We have Unbroken, 13 Short Stories Starring Disabled Teens. I think this cover is gorgeous. I love it. Another illustrated cover that I loved is of course Red, White, and Royal Blue. I think this is really pretty. And lastly, I really love The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. And finally, question number 15 is, what book do you have to read by the end of the year? So I have a three that I'm going to talk about. I of course want to read Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, the third and final book to the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I really want to read this by the end of the year. Next we have The Bride Test by Helen Huang. This came out in May and I still haven't read it yet. It's one of my most anticipated reads of the whole year. I haven't read it yet. I haven't had time unfortunately, but I'm super duper duper excited about this book because I loved the kiss quotient so much. And lastly, we have Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. This has been very popular in the book community online and People who like aren't really even into romance books are picking up this book and loving this book. So I just think that, heck, I love romance books. So I gotta really love this one if people who don't even read romance are really loving it. So I can't wait for this one as well. And there you have it. That was the mid-year book freak out tag for y'all. Let me know down in the comments below if you have done this tag yet because I would love to go see it. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye.